So if you don't like what options you have for software, you can always write your own, which is exactly what I did a while ago, actually. So uh, if I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you who watch this or who watch my channel know that I um, regularly use a program called Vim. And I'm pretty sure most people, I think, are familiar with Vim at this point, as well as NeoVim, which is almost the same thing. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure everyone here, uh, everyone watching, also is familiar with Vim plugins, which basically just, as the name implies, just extend the functionality of uh, the text editor and just give you gives you more options and features. So, um, for the longest time, in order to, um, to actually load these plugins, you needed a dedicated plugin manager that would load them. But recently, and by recently I mean actually a few years ago at this point, Vim and NeoVim added the uh, feature to automatically load plugins built, and it's built right into the text editor. So after this uh, happened, after these uh, they got updated, um, I was actually looking for a, uh, a less bloated um, plugin manager because um, a lot of them are actually like really long, like thousands of lines of code. And I was looking for one that was a lot shorter because, you know, Vim and NeoVim just automatically um, load plugins. I was looking for one that was just to download and update plugins, and I couldn't find a single thing like that. And so what I did is I just made my own. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull this up on my GitHub page uh, right here. So PM, which stands for Plugin Manager. Um, it's just some random name I threw together. And essentially, it's, you know, it's a minimal plugin manager that I wrote a, a, a long time ago uh, by now, but and all, you, all you need is Vim or NeoVim, or potentially both, um, curl and git, which are two command line programs which you might uh, might already have installed on your computer. And to install it on Vim, you just run the simple program, and for the documentation, which it, there's not much documentation, but if you want it, um, you run this program for Vim, and for NeoVim, you just run these two commands. And the only other step you need to do is create a um, list of plugins that you want uh, install. So I'll go ahead and go over and open the terminal just and just show uh, pull up my uh, config file. And as you can see, I have a variable right here. It's g colon plugins, and it's really just a list of uh, all the plugins that I want on my, you know, uh, on my editor. So, and also, if I want to pull up documentation, I can do help pm.txt, and it'll pull up all the documentation that, uh, for this plugin that I provided, um, as well as a list of all the commands. So, actually, I'll just run through these commands real quickly. So, update pm, uh, as the name implies, updates the plugin manager itself. Now, my, mine's already up to date, but It'll just reinstall it, um, if, uh, even if it is up to date, but it didn't change anything. So update plugins does as the name implies. It'll actually uh, go through all your plugins and update them one by one to the newest version. So as you can see, all mine are up to date, so there's nothing to be done. But if, you're, if yours was not up to date, it would you know uh, pull the latest version of it. I'll get back to purge plugins because um, it's dependent on something else, but I'll come back to that. List plugins, you know, just list all the plugins you have installed. Uh, these are my current ones. Download plugins uh, will actually go ahead and download all the plugins in this list uh, in the list you have defined. Um, so I didn't add any new ones. So if I run download plugins, it'll just say, oh, error. It, uh, it's you'll just error out. And just say it's already um, all these plugins are already there. But if I had any new ones, it would download them. And then there's clone plugins or clone plugin, which um, downloads a single plugin. And really, this is uh, the reason I added this was to was to essentially um, temporarily download a plugin and then remove it afterwards. So uh, I'll actually go ahead and find just a random good bin plugin just to uh, showcase this. So there you go. Go here, and I'll use I'll use Nurture. And oh wow, this created 18 years ago, man. I feel old. But you go ahead and go to the GitHub and just grab this link right here. And I'll run um, clone plugin and put this link right here. 
and this will just you know download the plugin. And so if I close them and open it back up, and I run list plugins, you'll see now I have Nurtree installed. And so let's just say I want to use Nurtree temporarily, and then I want to get rid of it. Um, that's where purge plugin comes in, and this is the final command. Um, and what this does is it will get rid of all the plugins that aren't defined in this list right here. Um, so the only plugin that isn't defined in this list is Nurtree. And so if I run purge plugins, it'll just get rid of Nurtree and it's it's gone. So if, if you want to temporarily use a plugin for like syntax highlighting or some other things, you can use that uh, use those commands to use it uh, use them temporarily and not have them like you know have them sitting on your computer and you know slowing up uh, slowing down your text editor. And really, the reason I wanted to make a uh, very simple um, plugin manager. In fact, I think if I, I'm actually going to go pull up um, this file here, uh, it's only around yeah 128 lines. If I go ahead and pull up then plug, which is another plugin manager, you'll see yeah this are a minimal plugin manager. And I think at the time this uh, this was like released, it was actually pretty minimal. But now I think. Uh, like it has a bunch of extra features that I think are necessary, like parallel installations and updates, and like um, I think Packwords compatibility is a good feature though. But like and a bunch of other things where I'm just like I think this is unnecessary. Um, but yeah, it has. If I actually look through this. It has yeah almost three thousand like uh, two thousand eight hundred lines of code, and every time you start your text editor, it's going to be loading that uh, code and potentially running it and slowing down your uh, your text editor. And so I wanted to um, have a minimal one that's only, you know, less than 200 lines of code to basically, you know, speed up, uh, speed up my t uh, text editor and make, uh, making sure things aren't bloated, uh, bloated at all. And so, you know, so if you want to, um, you can find it on my source hut page as well. Yeah, right here. Um, so yeah, I, um, that's, you know, plugin manager I wrote, um, definitely a better, uh, I think it's definitely a better solution than some of the, you know, the bigger, uh, more bloated, um, bigger, more bloated options out there. But if you guys want to, you can, you know, download this and run it and give me some feedback or I don't know, or just do whatever. So yeah, um, that's it. I'll see you guys all later.